Several folks have asked me about how to take a YouTube video and embed it into their InDesign project for use with Digital Publishing Suite. So let's go take a look at how to make that happen. First we'll go over to YouTube and you can see here I've got a Terry White video, always a great thing to look at. And I've got it paused or stopped and the thing that I need to do is to look at the Share tab. Here's the Share tab and the one that I really care about here is the Embed tab. I can see some embed code sitting there and I can change its size by adjusting these parameters here. I'm just going to take it as it is and all I've got to do is to copy that embed code. So I can use my uh, command C to copy, control C, or use my file, uh, excuse me, my edit menu, anything I want to do there. Now I've got it copied and I'll quick pop over to InDesign. I've got a blank InDesign document sitting here. All I'm going to do is to paste it onto my InDesign page. Are you ready? It's going to be, all right, I'll use edit so we can see it and paste. Now hands off the wheel. All I'm doing is waiting. InDesign is doing all of its thinking right now. This is InDesign CS6 and it will produce for me this black box. Now this black box is the video player. I'll move it up here to the center of the screen and we'll look in our folio overlays panel. The only thing I need to do at this point is to make it autoplay so that the video will be available and I can start it. Now remember autoplay in this case starts the HTML. It doesn't start the video. Now that we've turned it on, let's check out our work. InDesign is building my preview for me and it will display it in the desktop content viewer. Of course, if I had my iPad connected, I could view it on that as well. We don't see any video at this point because we haven't told the video to play. In order to do that, you've got to push the play button. However, the screen has filled in and we've gotten our poster image and it's ready to roll. And if I waited long enough, I'd get to see Terry. So here you go, folks. Easy way to get YouTube video to embedded directly into your DPS project.